Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, sort of-ish, in Old Rob Blues A to Z, in which we're now playing as Carbon. Now Carbon's a unique country with a very unique flag, hmm, we're led by Mayor Jasmine though, um, has been leading the town of Carbon for a good six years, she's popular with local settlers with a campaign goals of protecting settlers from raiders and protecting Carbon's blooming <clears throat> entertainment industry. Jasmine hopes she can win another term or two through a solid work ethic and a commitment to the people. We have the best little uh, uh, house in Texas. There's nothing to be ashamed about what is happening between the walls of carbon, nor acting innocent while this little town has so many frequent uh, visitors. There's a need, and all we do is provide a service to satisfy that need. Supply and demand, basic economics. Of course, we're going with clean water for more population. We went with Vice City early on because that's what we are. We're wealthy because of it, and we have new schools to make more. But right now, um, we're on a historical loss. Has just been declared war upon by Shale's army, and, uh, I'll be honest, uh, we are going to, uh, uh, not, totally not use consequence, because we are guaranteeing low, so we have to go and join the war. If we decline, we'll lose stability, and, uh, they immediately start attacking us, and there's no way we can hold out ever. So, we're totally not going to use cons commands for, uh, our war effort, so, yeah. We've already funded the schools, we've established a laboratory, um, up right now, we're going to become the center of the community. We'll probably do a political reorganization and be led by the people. Um, power of the mayor, daily ruler support, people support, which is not bad either. Uh, council people for more stability, more support, and actually get a lot more political power, which would be actually really nice. Because we do want to go to war and stuff like that, but we'll fund the garages because we need stuff like that. And fund the garages, erecting a palisade like the normal, militia commanders, militia drills, organization, recruitment posters, you know, all the good stuff, the generic focus stuff, but it's not completely generic. It's mostly generic for this type of campaign, but. There's also something very interesting here as well, with the reformable nations. The winds of change blow swiftly across the wasteland, and few can resist its power for long. While we may call ourselves carbon today, we might find it right to change our identities we forge a new path. So we get formed the Lincoln League. It's after the failed aggression from the supermutes of the South, this corner of Texas finally knows peace. The military leader hasn't been seen for a while, so we can presume Shale finally bit the dust. For a long time now, we nursed good relations with their sister city in the neighborhood, and right now, Stockton. Supermutes are under our jurisdiction as well. Mayor Jasmine believes it's high time to make the situation official. A sentence for everybody, human, ghoul, or supermute alike. As this is a land of freedom, and it was built upon the cooperation, cooperation of independent towns, one way or another. Out of the greatest icon of liberty in the old rural terminology of allied townships, this land will be known as the Lincoln League, of the people, by the people, for the people. So, if we control the Dead Plains, which is down here, where my mouse is right now, um, we'll call that, control that region. Uh, we'll establish our new capital, Lincoln, in its place. Otherwise, we'll rename our current city for, for the occasion. And Carbon gets some stuff. Um, so, now we'll, we'll send an invitation for our league, for our sister city. We need the presence to make this co cooperation powerful enough to defend ourselves. Also, we claim any theoretical lands they hold from the mutants. If they refuse, well, we'll have to use more convincing means. So I'll invite Los to join us. And we'll have access to both ghoul and mutant units after our merge. Naturally, our laws will reflect that. And we'll get ghoul civilization, which is nice. And we'll get super mutant auxiliaries. And we'll gain a core in every former state of Shale's army, Los, and Carbon by totally not using console commands. Oh no, who could have seen that one coming? Carbon has completely taken over Shale's army and well, oh, yeah, totally, totally nothing happened bad in console commands. Like I said, yeah, don't, don't accuse me of anything. Well, would you look at that? Now we have super mutant auxiliaries and a ghoul civilization. Go figure. Ghoul divisions are 12 combat width. The settlement guards are 10 combat width. So they're almost exactly the same, except ghouls. Um, with a little, they do have a uh, radioactive way, so they actually move, attack, and defend better. Um, I think they're pretty much exactly the same infantry. If you have ghouls here, you actually get better, more defense and supply, so we're actually going to convert everybody to ghouls right now. Um, so that's actually better overall. You can just do that. Thank you. We're, we're a bunch of ghoul families here, but our flag changed too, which is actually really cool. Um, but yeah, totally news consequence. Demand tribute from who? Keep us safe. Executives? No, we're good. Good news! The messenger came back from our sister city. The agreed to our terms. The league is already expanding, and this space will arrive with the TEU or even the NCR no time. We really needed that. Wow! Look at that! Ah, suicide bombers. Oh! Oh, that's nice. Uh, you have one division of motorized, which is 14 combat, which is not bad. That's actually not terrible, actually. Um, but we're really going to be using mostly infantry for this army, so we're probably just going to keep it, um, on ghoul platoons, perhaps? Yeah, let's use this template. That's actually really good. Sediment guards, uh, motorized is not bad. These guys are 12 combat with. These guys are 16 with stuff like that. I'm not going to get rid of these guys yet, but we might develop them later on, perhaps. Now, it's going to cost quite a bit of money. We don't have a lot of, uh, expansion stuff to expand with right now. Um, we could use one there. Let's go with... Uh, 
that much more, and gliders will just be the catch-all for everything. Canoe hulls, I don't know if we actually have a navy or not, probably not, and we'll do that. So we can start training a navy, yeah. So overall, not bad, very nice. Lincoln appointed co-leader. Despite our sometimes complicated relationship with our sister city, we can only rely on each other. It wouldn't be only cruel but pointless not to elevate the leader of our neighboring community to be her equal and help her, her best abilities to league out. Uh, may that function would only be reduced to a particular field of skills. So I'll save real quick, just in case. Because this is, like I said, this is on a historical. Um, I wonder if we beat up Lanius. So who do we go to war with next? Texan Arms Association? They're part of the Republic of the Rio Pack, so Eden might not be bad. Lubbock? Lubbock would probably be our best bet, probably. Because I don't mind trying to strike out earlier on. And oh, never mind, they're guaranteed by Lone Star, which is not good. Okay. Executives it is. And then we can probably try to fight Lanius, maybe? That's going to take forever to get to, but whatever. You know. So that's a point of co-ruler. And right now, we have these... Oh, we actually have this court. Oh my god. Carbon is not... Oh, Los is not bad. They have a lot of strength there. Over here, it's not... Oh, we got this court too. Oh, crap. We get it all cord. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my goodness. We have a lot to build. As you can see on screen here. Um, but that actually puts us in a really good position if we really wanted to do stuff here. Which is actually really... Oh, they have power armor. So we have the High Priest of Sapo, Defender Priest, Map, Division, Defense of Core Territory, more Max Entrenchment. We have Church of the Lost. It's all the religion of the ghouls living within Los. Its followers try to po follow a path towards achieving per perfect wisdom. Hoarding secrets and relics of the past so they can be protected and used to achieve the state of perfect wisdom at one point. Under Blake, this church also practiced values promoting ghoul supremacy over humans. Under the new leader... Oh, shnikes. Um... Of Saffold, whose tendencies have been marginalized in favor of individual path can be taken to wisdom, rather than the one that requires subjugation of others. Uh, that was completely unexpected. How strong are these guys? Uh, that's not cool, man. Bro, we just got here. If it's just infantry versus infantry... Oh, they have power armor too, god dang it. Ooh. Um, show field commanders. Uh, what do you have here? Supply consumption. Oh, that looks very good to do. Just get to where you need to go and just hold the line. That's all I care about right now. We have 12 divisions, so we should be able to do okay here, right? Bruh. Now they're using the power armor, then we'll have some serious problems. Travel scout kits are nice. Let's grab this for immediately for more reliability and whatnot. Barrage balloons, no thank you. Travel scout kits, yes, please, thank you. We can lower this by one for now. Um, train one. Do we have any spare anything? Uh, infantry equipment. Demo equipment we can actually probably throw on immediately. Gives a little more bang for our bucks. Center of the community, of course. Um, I reckon Palisade might not be bad immediately because it looks like we could probably really use it. Oh, you, you guys need to become this too. This gives you more strength. Um, uh, can we even pierce them? We'll see, I guess. We're doing well on army XP, which is nice. I was not expecting to get attacked immediately. Like, that was just all random. Actually, do they even need Focus Street Eden? Because they only need to go to play as them sometime, too. Ooh, Scarlet. What does Scarlet have? The Rotting Corpse. Ooh. Good and bad. No, rather knowledge. Unprepared. Oh my gosh. Productive. Oh, they do have unique Focus Street. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, no, this is generic. But they it's also unique. Battle Corpus Christi, huh? That's actually really cool. You're learning a lot, which is good. But you're gonna become a uh, ghoul attack and defense? Yes, please. That should help us out win right there, too. Um, but we have enough manpower now, too, which is awesome. Um, we'll equip the army, every capital of the armies, which is what we would really want, but we don't not have enough world tension. We can kind of wait on that. What do we have over here? I didn't even look at this stuff yet. Damage garrisons would not be bad. Army XP gain, attack, and organization is very decent as well. Probably go with Bringer Civilization just because. Just by world sounds goes down by that much? That's not very good. Oh, I'll go with this more political power, caps, stability. You know what's not to love? The normal stuff, of course. Um, 
Any more political power for this guy, so how about we choose you? Uh, we don't have enough to command power now. We need 20. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, we need mo that much more. Okay. Yeah, interesting. So, we can do this one down, too. That's good. What do we did? U2, U3. What is needed? More output? Yes. And. A little more map bars that wouldn't hurt, right? That's right. It's always right. Prospectors. We don't have a trade node, do we? No. Sucks. But whatever. Shoving our way down this way a little bit more. We actually have a glider, do we? Well, at the very least, we're going to make him do just normal air superiority missions for now. Get down here, and then they'll start attacking us probably more. I would like to make an assignment here, but we don't have the numbers for it right now. Or we can attack here. Actually, Palisade's not bad either for more defense. Much commanders, uh, it's not bad. Still have trade routes. Let's go with this one. Yeah, they're not really attacking us very much at all, which is fine. No, you hold. You need to hold. Oh, you guys go there, maybe. Bro, where are you going? Bro, where are you going? Oh, yeah, there they go. Nice. So warrior training is nice. Crowd control is good too. Let's put it right there. We actually want to go right here. Now, song for the front of you about that, but screw it. We could probably get the war sport. You guys go there to there immediately. If possible, here you hop out. Oh, they already left. God dang it. Bruh. Well, as long as we can circle that division, that's all I really care about. Just don't let it move. Five research slots, though, is very good. I love free repair, especially when it's free. We're going to agriculture, a little more manpower. Come on. I don't want to send this guy out yet. Since we're at war. Um, who do we else do we want? It's not bad. Experience diplomats not terrible. War support, caravan traders. This is all kind of generic. Get more attacking organization. That's always good to get. Which means we should win right here. In theory. Adventure Warfare is good. We're going to grab this one too. Come over here, grab this. Very, very nice. Come on, come on. We almost have them. Oh, come on. This is so stupid. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to do the rest of this one probably off screen. But, well, of course, we're going to go support the people, counsel the people, and loyal to the people as well. Well, everyone, now that Eden's fully dead and just gone forever, um, we want to go to war with executives, but Lanius killed them off, but they're at war with the twin mothers, so this might actually be a really good time for us to uh, maybe exploit that their uh, weakness, perhaps. Um, we do have, actually, like, three special forces divisions, which are pretty beefy boys, they're only 18 gone with, but they do have a couple of support units on them. And we have 20 normal infantry divisions, which is actually not bad, too. So, another war, another time. Another time to have fun, shall we? We're killing a lot more of them than they are 12, than uh, Twin Mothers is, but... Ooh, they are forcing defense. That is, a uh, That is an option. Wow. Scavenger's Triumph, that's good. Hey, more political power is always welcome. Uh, wow, they are really forcing defense right there. To the point where they are literally not alive. Forces help them out. See what you can do. 
Oh man, if we could go right here. Oh, that would be so nice. Get down here and circle another enforcer division. That'd be pretty good. Because we do have the manpower for it. So we go in. They might take that tile, but as long as we just delete their division, that's all that really matters first. So. Uh, they have up to 26. We have 23, and they have split between two fronts, between here and, you know, Twin Mothers, so... Hey, we'll have to wait and see. They've already lost 700 some odd division, which is not bad. Um, I'd like to just come over here and just encircle them. I kind of doubt that we would be able to do that, but you never know. Oh, uh, they can have a loan. We have a ton of money, but we have a decent amount. I'll give some of this here and some of that. Yes, yes, yes. River Fleet would be very nice. Um, head on over here, too. They're not smart enough. Oh, 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 now they're actually throwing more divisions at us now. Oh boy. Uh, what do we want? Supplies not bad. I'm just gonna go with more organization. Less losses. And that's that's so good. It looks like they're really beefing up uh, the lines here. So let's take a little moment of not attacking. And really consolidate what we have right now. She says you're in the NCR, but no one really cares, like, I guarantee you. There we go. Just repeat itself. That's fine. Uh, they're killing each other down there, which uh, kind of hope the Alamo chapter does well over here. Special forces, minimum capacity. That's actually good to get more. Hang out for now. Ooh, could have gone in there, but whatever. They are reorganizing their lines again. Hmm. Interesting. There you go. We might be two divisions, but you should be able to hold out, right? You should be able to do that, right? Nice. And we can cut them off right there. Well, I guess they do have a, a VP, and we need another division, which is going to be very helpful for us. Uh, it's nice, it's nice. It's still a little bit ahead of time. Go right here as well. What do we have here? So we could do this, we could do that. Uh, let's go have encouraging women to serve. You by that, please go ahead. Um, over time, we'll, we'll do some more like standardized military, old world tactics, which would be nice, fallback tactics. Western settlers arrive, Tato farmers, Brahmin herders, of course, establishing trade routes. Forcing our laws, developing roadways, planning for the future, and having some local pride is always very good too. So we can take that tile. That'd be the most important one of all. Them all. I want you to force it. If you can take that tile, we can destroy all these divisions down here, and it wouldn't be that difficult to do. Hold. Let me just help them out. There you go. Nice. Right there. Of course, they do have a port, which is not good too. But if you just cut this way, these guys will die easily. So, like, it literally doesn't even matter. Oh, they found that little exploit we're trying to find. There you go. Now I'll start del deleting these guys. And they start leaving there too, that'd be great. Focus fire for more piercing, yes. Uh, for this campaign, what do we want? Gatling lasers? We'll go with LMGs. Beautiful. Nice. Help them out. 24 divisions left. They've lost about a thousand. Not bad. Cool. It's taking quite a while to get rid of, though. It's a little concerning, but whatever. Let the uh, special forces kind of recover a little bit first. And there you go. That's enough time. <sighs> One divisions now, which is very good, and they're actually pushing back down, which is nice to see. Help them out. Help them out. Help them out. Five more divisions go bye bye, and then we do probably full frontal assault. Uh, in the meantime, we will eventually start coring some of these tiles once we can, so that'll be good. Uh, we've already gone down. Ooh, rate of conscripts. We've already gone down to outsider battalions. We need to increase a lot of the stuff here too. Ferry training cut the cost. Eh. 
Head position experience diplomats okay. Battle for Hoover. Damn, honest speakers not bad. War support goes up. Non-core manpower goes up. But less resistance record, which is very good. But let's get some more population. Let's give our guys a couple of couple of days, and then we'll just do a full frontal assault. Like that's just 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 going to town on these guys is what we really want to do. Three, two, one. We should be fine. They have less than twenty divisions. Sixteen for two front war. Yeah, they've already started losing up here, so we got to move fast. Oh, they're forced to attack? Okay. Oh, two can play with this. You guaranteed that they are going to die. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Just drop them as hard as you can. They already don't have divisions, so... Beautiful. We've lost about, what, 1,500? Probably roughly 2,000. You killed off about almost 4,000 of them, though. That's pretty good. And we're still making more divisions, even though we're starting to run out. And we just ran out. Okay. Um, so your conscription? A little more training time, a little more cost and caps. That's fine. 16 still, which is fine. How much manpower do these guys have, actually? Chariots of Mars. They have 6,000. they got plenty of manpower left. Image equipment? Uh, they probably still have a decent amount. Yeah. Division-wise, though, oh boy, they are not looking good. Ooh, don't tell me there's a lot of resistance here. Because if there is, I'm going to do some funky stuff. I, I hate... Uh, there's a... Okay, Miles, not a terrible amount of resistance. Oh, let me know also what, what you would recommend for the name of our intelligence uh, company here, too. Let me know in the comments below. 58 is quite a bit. Coordinated assault is good. More breakthroughs, awesome. Do that. So we come over here and we'll grab this as well. Organization's always good. Oh, they're flooding through here too. So we won't be able to get everything. How are they able to beat us here? I don't understand. Like, supplies are probably not great. But, like, still. So, this is kind of dumb. This actually is actually very stupid. Are we out? What are we out of? Oh, pretty much everything. Okay. If that's the case. Lower you by one. Go and stop real quick. Because no matter what, we're going to. These guys will help take us up, take them out too. So. How they're able to do this much damage to us is insanely broken. So, how do you not have anything here? It's because they d never put down resistance, which is so gimmicky. That's so gimmicky, it's not funny. So. But we'll, we'll easily defeat them, especially when these guys moving out and whatnot, so I'm not super worried about it, but so I think I might just end the episode here, so if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll see what else we can do with the Lincoln League. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.